Uh, we've had a lot of requests in regards to optimization of our hulls. So we're going to work through hull optimization. Here you can see the perfect shape of the hull from a distance. We're going to walk you around the yacht so you can get a better view and actually have a look at the beautiful shape of the front of the hulls and how nice it looks. We've had so many comments of how aesthetically pleasing this particular yacht is. Um, we've put a lot of work into optimization uh, with slippery hulls that allow it to smoothly cut through the water, giving us more speed. Uh, our aim is for zero drag and zero wake. And we've pretty well much achieved this. Uh, we spent a lot of money on optimization of the hulls in order to make them absolutely the ultimate with zero drag so we could cut through the water and carry this boat through the water as opposed to it really going through that difficult procedure of a lot of the boats create so much weight behind them creates a lot of drag but this particular um, system and optimization that we used is for electric engines only this is not for fuel engines it just doesn't work um, the RPM is totally different um, the props are totally different, the angle of the shaft is different, the rudders need to be in a particular alignment and as you see we've aligned up the um, keel perfectly, we have a beautiful hardwood keel all the way under here, if you run aground into the water um, you will not damage this yacht whatsoever, uh, you won't damage the propellers because they're above the keel line including the rudder so we've put a lot of work into the thought behind the optimization and also this particular design allows the yacht to actually bounce through the water if it hits a really big wave it will do this rolling effect so you don't feel that bang that you hear in a lot of yachts that you're in where it hits the hits the edge of the wave really hard and you come down this simply like floats and bounces it's like a waterbed just sort of rolls through the waves and cuts through them due to the design of the front of our hulls uh, allows us to really cut through the water and we've had a lot of people questioning us and asking oh can you do a little bit of a uh, bit of information in regards to the hull so we're sharing a lot of uh, information here that uh, shouldn't normally be shared but we're here to help people and help people learn about electric and solar. Um, we don't want to hide the information. We want to help people understand it so they can have more clean boating. Um, because at the end of the day, we're all here on this planet for a certain time and leaving as uh, little footprints as we can um, makes the world a better place. And that's what we're all about pretty well much in a nutshell. As you can see, we've really put a lot of detail in this. Uh, we've sharpened up that internal wave breaker here, or some people refer to it as the uh, gull wing. Um, I prefer to call it a wave breaker because that's exactly what it does. It breaks the waves, especially when you look under here. Um, we've really done it in a way round. It doesn't cut through the waves as much. But uh, this particular design, really, if a wave hits it, it just cuts through it and rolls around in a circle. And that allows you to move forward quite easily. And it helps with stability. Uh, the sharper it is, the better it is as far as keeping it aligned. It doesn't roll, so it cuts in and keeps the yacht totally aligned. And look at the beautiful shape. That's what everybody's asking for. And we've actually put the anchor right at the front. So if you run into anything, that's your breaker. That's your protection for the whole yacht. A lot of people don't realize, but sometimes you may be in a situation where you might run into something else. And the aesthetics on this is absolutely perfect, as you can see. Uh, we just finished its uh, second year birthday. So, just about to go back in the water in the morning. And 
Hope you enjoyed uh, today's bit of intel. Give you a little bit of an update. Anyway, my name's Grant, and I'm the designer of this particular yacht from the ground up. Uh, I'm with my team. Uh, SunPower Yachts International founder and creator of the SunPower 44. I want to thank you all for um, following us and keeping up to date with all our news and uh, we're really proud of uh, what we've created uh, in the Solar Electric Unlimited range and uh, if you like what you see please subscribe, like us, follow us and share us. Um, we put a lot of heart and soul into this particular yacht and uh, to be totally honest uh, we found it to be flawless and in its design, its hull optimization and also its uh, energy capacity from its solar integration. Um, so please, uh, if you like what you see, uh, help share it so we can have some more clean boating. The next video we're gonna create, yep, you guessed it. Everybody's still asking about how does the technology work? Well, we're gonna give you a run through that on our next video. Uh, we're gonna go through solar MPPTs, uh, we're going to go into batteries, uh, kilowatts, amp hours, and also the um, capacity of the integration of uh, electric engines, e-motors, as we'd call them. And we're going to cover what the time frames are, how long everything should last, and we're also going to cover uh, bits and pieces in regards to the integration of uh, the battery banks in order to match with the MPPTs and in order to match with uh, the electric engines in order to match with the vault system and to be honest it took me six months working with a group of electricians in order to try and calculate and work it all out and it's a very difficult job so I'm really clear on why a lot of people are asking me all these questions and uh, they're struggling with trying to put together uh, what sort of panels they should use, what sort of uh, electric engines they should use, and what sort of batteries uh, they should use, and what sort of a master and what size voltage system they should use. Uh, all relevant questions and all good ones. And uh, thanks for all your questions, and we look forward to seeing you soon. So have a great day, and uh, keep up to date with what we're bringing out, and we'll try to share more and teach you more so you can learn all around the world. Have a beautiful day. Happy boating. Here we go, back in the water where she belongs. Thank you, sir. See you on the water, guys.